Number 1. Old Town Hall. One of the greatest pieces of secular medieval architecture in Europe, Tarunia's Old Town Hall grabs all the headlines. It goes back to the middle of the 13th century, but the lasting work was done in the 1390s under the watch of the Teutonic great master, Conrad von Wallenrode. At this time Tarunia was at its apogee as a Hanseatic city and the town hall's size and grandeur reflects that confidence. Number 2. Rheinex Staromieski. Where it all began, Tarunia's fabulous central square was marked out between 1252 and 1259. In medieval times, tournaments took place along the western frontage, and people were executed and punished at the pillory. The remarkable town hall takes all the plaudits, but you shouldn't neglect the historic townhouses for merchants and nobility, and a few of the other smaller sites on the square. Number 3. Tarunya Cathedral. Coming face to face with this late Gothic wonder on Yulika Zaglarska, it's hard not to be awed by the mighty western tower. If you're keen on medieval history you'll want to go slowly as the cathedral has masses of art and historical monuments. As a priority you have to see the frescoes in the chancel dating to the 14th century and showing the crucifixion and last judgment. Number 4. Teutonic Castle Ruins. When you remember it was sacked in 1454 during an uprising against the Teutonic Order, it's not surprising that little remains of the old Teutonic Castle east of the old town. The site had been mostly forgotten until the 1960s when excavations brought to light underground chambers that have been opened up to visitors. Number 5. Live Gingerbread Museum. In an early 19th century granary in the old town is a working reconstruction of a Renaissance bakery. At this setting you'll get to see, and take part in, the traditional method of making gingerbread. That will entail sifting flour and measuring spices, and then baking the dough in old-school wooden forms. Number 6. House Under the Star. Of all the monuments facing the old town square, this Italianate Baroque house may be the most beguiling. The building is far older than its 17th-century facade, having been put up in the 1200s. Later, it was home to the Italian humanist and writer Filippo Buonacorsi, tutor to the sons of King Casimir for Jagiolon towards the end of the 15th century. Number 7. Nicholas Copernicus Monument. If you need a place to meet up in Tarunia look no further than the statue of Nicholas Copernicus in front of the town hall, high above the cafe tables. On a five-meter pedestal, he stands at twice life-size and is dressed in academic attire. In his left hand you'll notice he's holding an astrolabe, while, for obvious reasons, his right index finger points to the heavens. Number 8. Rynek Nowomieski. Once the center of a separate town, the new town square had its own town hall, which lost its status when the two towns merged in the 15th century and was pulled down in the 1800s. Considering its age there's a real sense of scale on the new town square, which measures 95 by 95 meters and is enclosed on all sides by the beautiful facades of townhouses. Number 9. Medieval Walls. Tarunius walls are as old as the city, dating back to the middle of the 13th century. As the city grew in the late Middle Ages, these were also extended and reinforced. Some big chunks have been preserved, and there are nine gates and towers still standing. The most complete section extends for 100 meters or so along the Vistual waterfront, beginning in the west at the Leaning Tower, which we'll talk about next. Number 10. Leaning Tower of Tarunya. Made of red brick in the late 13th century, the building has a 1.46-meter tilt away from the river, causing it to hang over the street below. Now hosting a tavern, the Leaning Tower would have started to tilt as soon as it was constructed as it was built on unstable loamy soil. And as you'd imagine there are a legends around the building. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.